In this time sensitive video, I will show you how to claim your refund for Planet Watch inactive licenses. Coming right up! But first, the coffee. So let's start with a short overview. If you didn't know and lived under a rock, Planet Watch, at least the network, the sensors, the rewards and everything that Planet Watch actually meant for us, is transitioning to ambient network. And part of this transition is related to a last refund of inactive licenses from Planet Watch. Now, if you didn't know anything about this, I have a few videos that I made regarding this transition. So I'll put the links uh, up here and also down in the description. Now, why did I say that this is a time sensitive issue? Because this claim can be done only starting from the 20th of August until 4th of October 2024. So currently we have 12 days and moment of recording this video to actually claim the, the refund. If you don't do it until 4th of October 2024 at 4pm, uh, you will not be eligible to claim it anymore. So yeah, this is not a clickbait, uh, this is a time sensitive thing to do. Now one thing that we need to do is set our expectations. And by that, the thing is that our refund will be in planets, but they will be at the refund rate from the 50th of July. Uh, that is the date when the snapshot was made from the amount of planets we hold and that will count to the airdrop or the claim for the new ambient tokens. Now if we look at the charts we can see that on the 15th of July the price was very low but actually <laughs> quite a lot uh, than what it is today. So in terms of actual planets that we can claim and then just sell on the market, we will get almost nothing. But what is the catch and why we should do this step? So what does that mean? If we look at the migration plan, or again, all the links will be down below. License refunds will be considered separately from the planet snapshot date meaning they will be included in the conversion to ambient tokens. So while we will not get a lot of planets, and actually there will be quite of planets, but their value will be almost nothing right now, this refund of inactive licenses will count towards our transition to ambient network because um, that value will be considered when we will get the new ambient tokens. And that is the key value in all of this. So that is the overview. Let's actually do it and see the steps. What we need to do is go into explore.planetwatch.io. And here, if you are not logged in, log in here, as you already know how to do that. And we will get a pop-up like this. If you have refundable licenses. So uh, what are these refundable licenses? Basically. They are the licenses that we bought before 1st of July 2022 and they were never activated by connecting them with a sensor. So you don't have to think about if you have them and or don't or if they are eligible for this. You just plug in into your explorer and if you have some kind of licenses like this, you will see this pop-up. If you don't, you will not see the pop-up and you have no steps to do for this. Now I'm going to click go to refunds and I see I have two, two licenses, one for type 2 and one for type 3 and the total amount that we will get. Once again this is the, the value at the snapshot data so in terms of planets what I'll get here will be probably around worth around 8 euros or maybe less if I'm going to sell them at the current market price but uh, I should expect 
that uh, the ambient token that I will get for my planet will also include uh, ambient tokens of this value. So I'm going to confirm this. And now what I need to do is connect my wallet. For this, I'm going to take my phone, open Para Algo Wallet, scan the QR, and I am going to select my wallet for the refund. Click Connect, and now we see the address for our connected wallet. I'm going to check it, verify, and proceed. So we need to confirm and here we see the license refund agreement. I am not going to <laughs> read all of this but I will expect something like once we, we claim these refunds we will have no other claim from Planet Watch. I will agree and proceed. Done! Your refund request has been registered. One processed, you will receive an email from us. I would expect uh, the actual refund will be once this, uh, this process has been closed. So once again, you need to do this claim until 4th of October. So this is one of the steps that we need to do towards our conversion. I think this is the last one. But don't forget to subscribe and give uh, this video a like, this will help me a lot. What I have in pipeline is a video regarding the new tokenomics and also presentation of the new Ambigo app. So until next time, see ya!